Welcome back to What's New. Today's pop break is all about the biggest moments at the Golden Globes last night. Here's Kira Cotton with a complete recap. Award season is finally here. The 78th Golden Globes took place last night, and if you missed it, don't worry. Here's what you need to know. First and foremost, despite most of the ceremony being virtual, many stars went all out for their living room red carpets. From Regina King and Dan Levy to Amanda Seyfried and Viola Davis, the looks were stunning. And then you had those who took a more casual approach, like Jason Sudeikis, who accepted his award for best actor in a TV series while wearing a tie-dye hoodie. Now, for the actual ceremony, Tina Fey and Amy Poehler hosted the show from separate coasts, which was awkward, but oddly enough, not the most awkward moment of the night. The comedic pair got to business right from the start, addressing the lack of diversity within the Hollywood Foreign Press Association. And there are no black members of the Hollywood Foreign Press. I realize, HFPA, maybe you guys didn't get the memo because your workplace is the back booth of a French McDonald's, but you gotta change that. So here's to changing it. Yes, I'm looking forward to that change. And it wouldn't be a true ceremony in the middle of a pandemic without a Zoom malfunction. As Daniel Kaluuya attempted to accept oh, his be. award for best supporting actor in a motion picture, his feed was muted. We've all been there, but after a quick adjustment, he returned to give a moving speech and even gave a shout out to Cleveland, where much of the movie Judas and the Black Messiah was filmed. The cast of The Crown also won big, taking home four awards last night. Soul took home the award for Best Animated Film. And last but not least, Taylor Simone, the widow of the late Chadwick Boseman, again wowed us with a moving tribute, accepting her late husband's award for Best Actor in a Motion Picture. He would say something beautiful, something inspiring, something that would amplify that little voice inside of all of us that tells you you can, that tells you to keep going, that calls you back to what you are meant to be doing at this moment in history. I'm Kiera Cotton, 3 News.